Ahead of the announcement, Lungu's main challenger, Hakainde Hichilema of the United Party for National Development, had already conceded defeat, albeit grudgingly. The results that will be announced do not reflect accurately the voting numbers that occurred on the 20th of January 2015. This has not been a level playing field from the start. We have experienced widespread violence against our supporters and party members throughout the campaign as well as deep irregularities in the counting process. Hichilema claims the results were manipulated, but he will not challenge the outcome. The Electoral Commission has declined the allegations. Agents of political parties were in the polling stations from beginning to the end. Agents of the political parties were present during the count and in most cases countersigned for the results. They were present at the tally center and in most cases countersigned the results. They are present with us here. They demanded for verification. They demanded for the documentation from the tally centers which we have availed. How more transparent could we have been? The claims, though, will not stop PF supporters from savouring their victory. It's party time for the ruling PF, whose candidate won the mandate to complete the five-year term, which Michael Sata so convincingly won in 2011. But the margin is much closer this time round, and winning over the large number of people who voted against the PF is just one of the assignments that awaits Edgar Lungu. He has to reduce the cost of living, create jobs for millions of unemployed, and keep the country united. All this in just over a year as their general elections due in 2016. Farai Mokutuya, CCTV, Lusaka, Zambia.